Cheers. We'll go to a cousin from bus number three. And it'll go to Melissa Arias. Melissa, where are you? She is our third prize winner. She's right here. Out of a nice hand for Melissa, everyone. Congratulations for being standing. We do have your prizes making its way over to you. Congratulations. Now we're going for the second prize. Yell out them numbers again. If you draw out, yell out the driver. Driver! Driver! I see a three. We've got a winner. Our second prize will go to a cousin from bus number one. And it'll go to Hannah Petri. Hannah Petri, where are you? Show us where you are. Your Aunt Hannah, all the way back there. How about a nice hand for Hannah, everyone? She is our second prize winner off of bus number one. Remain standing and congratulations. Now we're going for the grand prize. Kelly is listening. He wants you to scream out that bus number. If you drove out, yell out, drive out. Drive out! Okay. Drive out! Shake it off. <laughs> Our grand prize will go to a cousin from bus number four. Those buses came deep. And it'll go to Margaret Shippo. Oh, great. That or maybe it's Shippa. Or Bisha. <laughs> What is it? Margaret, there she is. Come on, family, please put your hands together for Margaret. From bus number four, Margaret, I have a question for you. Upon your arrival tonight, Margaret, did you take your photo? Did you take your picture? You won the entire deluxe package of your photo that comes along with the book. Of course, a floor lane, a package full of gifts. How about a nice hat for all of our winners here tonight? Congratulations to each and every one of you. Keep your hands clapping for my assistant, Kazin Ke'ala. You will see me our extravaganza show. He is one of our Polynesian drummers. And now to all you party cousins who came out here. Tonight on the bus with an escort. How many of you say that your escort's done a wonderful job all the way down here? Ah, and how many of you believe that your bus and your escort is the party bus? Tell us what bus number is that? Now, just to let all of you know, our escorts are one of the hardest working people here in our company. Now, upon your arrival, they greeted you on the way down here. They informed you of what's going to happen while you're here with us. Now, while you're here, they make sure that everything runs smoothly and safely. They're always at work. Now, after the extravaganza show, we all go home. But your party continues when you get back on that bus, all the way back to Waikiki, you all be entertained some more. Now you say you appreciate your escorts. At the end of the evening, let them know. You're good, don't worry about me. Speaking of appreciation, <laughs> when you arrived there, they all got together and they shared with us and told us that they had the party bus. Each one of them said that. We have a total of 12 buses here tonight. We heard from your escorts. We 
we'd like to hear from all of you. So I'm going to call your bus number and your escort's name. They're going to come out here on stage one by one. You get to meet each and every one of them. But family, when you're ready, comes out here, we want you to cheer as loud as you can. Show them that yes, they're correct, you are the party bus. Now once they're all out here, they tell me they'd like to give you a gift simply because they appreciate you. How are they going to do this? They're going to do it in way of talent. How many of you would love to see your escorts come out here on stage and dance the hula for you?
the level that I'm on. Okay, you know the girls too. I want you to take a look right here on the sand, waving at you. Ladies, babies, these are your instructors. Keep your eyes on them the whole time. They're going to help you through the dance. Now all the ladies in the, uh, on the second level, I know you can't see the dancers on the sand, so I'm going to ask you to turn around. All the ladies on the second level, only turn around. Turn around. That's right. Turn around. Now right in front of you, you've got your hula instructors, and they will help you through the dance. Now ladies, we're going to take some time to teach you A hula called hukila. Say hukila. Very good. Now we're going to teach you all the footwork and then the hand, uh, hand motions. So you need to pay attention. But before we do, I know I'm saying ladies and I'm saying little girls. But I notice we've got two young boys up here on the stage. And I want to say aloha to them. Aloha. Now you all need to know this. In Hawaii, women. It was the men who danced the hula. Okay? So they're on track. They know where they know history, so they're here to show you that men dance the hula too. Okay, so now ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna teach you all the footwork. Now the first step is called Kaholo. Say Kaholo. Now Kaholo means to move. So you're gonna take your right hand out to your right side, your left hand across your chest, and you're going to wave those lovely hula hands, okay? You're going to bend those knees slightly, and you're going to take two steps to the right and tap. Here we go. One, two, tap, and you're going to move it on over to the left side. One, two, and tap. That's called the kahona. Now, ladies, I'm going to ask you in Hawaiian, are you ready? And you're going to respond to me with the word Very good, which means yes And that'll be the cue to the musician So you need to be loud and clear So here we go Ladies in the kahola position Out to the right side Bend those knees slightly Smile Waving those lovely hula hands Ladies, gentlemen Oma, come, come Very good. Waiting for the musicians. There we go. Now we're going to go hold it to the right with the music. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One, two. Kaylee, get front. Lock and hold. Step forward. Oh my God. Buried in the back. Come forward. Come forward. Now hold to the right and hold to the left. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. You did a great job on your first huh? set. Now, ladies, from the feet, That's all right. we're going to move it up to the knees. The next step is called Uwehe. Say Uwehe. Now, Uwehe means to cry open, and you'll see why. Placing both hands on your hips, ladies, gentlemen. Raise it, raise Lift your left yeah. right foot. Place it. Left, down, bend, way. Right, down, bend, way. Left. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the beat. Here we go. Right, way, head, left, way, head, right, way, head, left, way. Come on, don't stop. I know it's hard. You can do it. Something like the funky chicken. Okay, come on, come on. Katie's probably don't know what a funky chicken is, but you get it. The next step is called Ami. Say Ami. Very good. Both hands behind your head. Bend those knees once more. With a circular motion with the hips, ladies. Gentlemen, you're going to move that Ami around the island. Come on, move that Ami around. Make a complete circle. Come on, sweetheart. You can do it. Don't stop to complete the tour. Oh, yeah. You had no problems with that one. 
now we're going to teach you the hand motion so you learn all the footwork. Now remember now in the hula, it's the hands that tell the story. Hip, feet, add to the meaning. So here we go. You're going to take your right hand up above your head in a hitchhike mode and you're going to go hitchhiking over your right shoulder. Then you're into yourself one two and moving on over to the left side put two times in now this motion is called the hooky which means to pull you're going to take both hands out to your sides palms down scoop right down in front of you bring it up above your hips now this motion simply says everybody on a beautiful day what do we do on a beautiful day here in Hawaii? We go to the ocean. So we're going to teach you the ocean motion. Both hands, palms down in front of you. Very good. That's your ocean. Wonderful. Some of you got some high tides going on. This is the season for it. Now what do we have in the ocean? We've got fish. That's right. So one hand, palms down. The other hand directly on top. Your thumbs will be its fins. And ladies... Gentlemen, this is your fish in the ocean. Very good. You got it, sir? It's like the other way. One hand, palms down. The other hand directly on top. There you go. That's your fish. Now, what do we do with the fish in the ocean? We cook them. We swim with them. We eat them. We catch it. We're going to catch it. Fish. So there's two types of fishing. The first style is our traditional hey, throw net style. Keep your right nets in. off of your left hand. Throw We're those nets out there. We're all cousins. And hopefully those nets in. Those nets in. Two from the right and two from the left. Now hopefully we've got some fish in our net. If we ain't got fish, we need a backup system. So this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Taking your right hands above your eyes, look out there. Now ladies, gentlemen, when you see that fish that you like, don't take your eyes off that fish. You're going to get that fishing hole ready. Throw that hook out there. Hook your fish. And reel that fish in. Come on, reel that fish in. Don't let that fish get away. Oh, yeah. Some of you got some big fish. Good. <laughs> now, what do we do once we catch our fish? That's right. You cook it. What You're gonna scoop that boy right there in your mouth, down to your tummy where it's real yummy. Some fish and boy. After a long day at the beach, a wonderful meal, we're gonna end our song. So you're gonna step back with one foot, placing both hands on your shoulders. Throw a kiss out to your audience, everyone. Say aloha. Take a bow, and you're all pow. Which means you're finished. Great job. walk you through the dance. That's what we did. Now we're going to put it all together. So are you ready to dance the hula? <laughs> okay, one more time. Are you ready to dance the hula? Uh, some of them not sure yet. But here we go. Ladies, in the get ready position, gentlemen. Oma, go, go. One more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Oma Coco. Very good. Bend those knees, waving those lovely little hands and smile. Here we go. Kaholo to the right and Kaholo to the left. Hitch high. And pull. Come on, pull. Don't stop pulling.
receive a token of appreciation and a very prestigious title that is bestowed by Dwayne Sluva. Now, judges, I must forewarn you, you're about to see some hula's you may never see again in your entire lifetime. Hello. But if you like what you see, encourage the guys. The more you encourage them, the more they promise to deliver uh, their call AB back. So people put right those hands together one more time, make some have strung some flower lays and would like to present to each of you gentlemen as a little token of appreciation and recognition in the spirit of Aloha. A lay is a symbol of Aloha when it is presented. It is also offered uh, in such a manner of esteem. Now, uh, people, you have seen their hula. It's yeah. time for you to decide which of these three gentlemen impressed you the most. Now, first of all, let me explain something. I have no idea who these gentlemen are. I never had the privilege of being introduced to them, so I can remain impartial. And I will impartially introduce them to all of you and present them to you one at a time in accordance with the colors of the hula skirts of your wearing. So gentlemen, look down and know your IDs. Good. Now when I present you by the color of your skirt, if you kindly step forward to the first level of the stage so all of the judges can see you and respond accordingly. Now, judges, these are your criteria. The gentleman who receives the loudest. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I didn't explain what type of loudest. <laughs> okay, the judge, what was that word? Aye! <coughs> well, we're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> the gentleman who receives the loudest, what was that word? Aye! Yells, screams, and applause will be the winner of this competition. The guy that gets the most noise from you is going to be the recipient of a prestigious title, Jermaine's Hula Idol. For the evening. <laughs> One that you have to earn with your response. Now, uh, okay, gentlemen, when I present you to the judges, step forward. I'm going to allow you one specialty signal. your move to impress them. <laughs> this is your last opportunity to win this competition. Make it good. Think about what you're going to do to uh, make sure they vote for you instead of the other guys. Okay, judges, again, the gentleman who receives the loudest yells, screams, and applause is going to be the winner. Are we in agreement? Give me an eye. Aye. Gentlemen on stage, are we in agreement? Give me an eye. Aye. Okay, we're all in agreement. Judges, may I present to you contest number one. Gentlemen, to my extreme right side. Contestant number two, Mr. Mellow Yellow! Woo! 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 Woo!
number three, Mr. Tantalizing. <laughs> Maka, you just went all the way. Maka. Yeah. Yeah. It's Maka, you gotta say it with spirit. With swag. Mele Kaliki Maka. Mele Kaliki Maka. I won't tell the ladies what you just called them, but that's right. Okay, here comes the winner of the competition. Everybody welcome Richard to the What brings you to the island? My wife's dream vacation. Your wife's dream vacation. Uh, what is your wife? Hi. hi! Is he living up to your dream expectations? <laughs> Have you seen him in coconuts and hula skirts before? Never? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably because you're the man. Everybody give them a whole idol, the great thing is.